They told you Windows 10 support was ending and the only way to get more updates was to pay. Well, Microsoft has changed their mind and they're giving users a way to get the first year of extended security updates for free. But is it worth it? And what's the catch? What's up everybody, it's Adam with the Don Tech, and today I'm here to expand upon my other Windows 10 video that I did, which will be here, I believe. And I was talking about what options you had when Windows 10 support ends, which was supposed to be October 2025. Now, just recently, probably within the past month or so, Microsoft has announced that they're offering free updates for the extended security updates for the first year. But why? A brief recap, it's important to know what the end of security updates mean when that does happen inevitably this October for Windows 10. When Microsoft pulls the plug on support for Windows 10, all they're really doing is making it so that you're not getting any feature updates, which really haven't happened besides the forceful install of Copilot, and you're not getting any of the technical updates, technical support, or security updates. And the biggest one and the most concern is that last one, the security updates. And that's what the extended support updates offer is only the security portion of those updates. When I first heard this news, I was excited. I was like, okay, cool. They're gonna make it so it's free. And then immediately I was like, wait a second, they're going to require a Microsoft account, aren't they? But as I mentioned in the previous video, even though it's free, there's still a catch. In order to get these extended security updates, you still have three primary ways of doing so. The first way is you can pay $30 a year, which I don't know why you would do that if you get it for free. Secondly, you can redeem 1,000 points to be able to get it for free for the first year, but I don't necessarily know what that would mean and if that qualifies for future years. And then the third option, which is the new option, and that's the free option. You have to sync your PC settings to the cloud through a Microsoft account. This is a direct way for Microsoft to encourage more of its users to utilize their OneDrive backup and their Microsoft account sync programs. So that way when Windows 11 support ends, they can say, hey, if you have your file saved to OneDrive, if you have your settings synced to Microsoft account, buy a new computer, they will all come over. Unfortunately, that is usually not the problem that people are having when it comes to upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11. If you wanna keep using Windows 10 beyond its support, you'll have no problems for at least the first three years as Microsoft continues to offer the security updates. As many users in the comments have mentioned, you can always go to Linux, which that'll be a whole separate video in and of itself, or try Windows 10 LTSC. I'm trying to remember what the acronym is without looking at anything. And that was gonna be a longer version, longer form support version of it, but the problem is it still only supports Windows 10 on a certain platform. So if programs, let's say TurboTax or anything like that, decide in the future that they say, okay, you're running Windows 10 22H2, no matter the variant, even though you're getting Microsoft updates, if TurboTax or whoever decides you can't use that version with our program, you're stuck no matter what. So while it's nice that these extended security updates are free for a certain amount of users, I would heavily advise against doing it because not only are you giving more data out there than we already need, and especially considering the whole ecosystem of everything right now, we wanna keep as much as we can to ourselves, to ourselves. And it's one of those things that if you have those settings, as I've mentioned, you have it synced and something messes up, you have a problem with that, it's gonna go back onto that system. The Dawn's goal still hasn't changed. I do plan on running Windows 10 on all my equipment as long as I possibly can, which is gonna be hopefully at least for three years. And if there's anything that changes, stay tuned. Feel free to subscribe to this channel. I'll be doing more videos on Windows 10, more videos on Windows 11, a whole bunch of different things are in the works. And if I come up with anything else, I will definitely post that video. So make sure you have notifications turned on so that you'll see if I have any brilliant ideas in relation to how we can make it so that we're still getting updates, but kind of circumventing the system a little bit. So we'll see. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, I'm the Don. This has been the Don Tech. And remember, the Don's got your back.